Hey y'all, it's me, Dr. Lynn Daniel, coming to you today. It is Friday, June 3rd, 2022. And I wanna know, have you all ever heard of this term called spiritual spouse? So in the Christian world, I've been hearing lately about spiritual spouses. And I cannot recall ever in my years of Christendom, of being a Christian woman, of attending church and Bible study and learning, I can't recall ever learning anything about spiritual spouses. Now, so what I'm gonna talk about today is, I think spiritual spouses or the concept of a spiritual spouse is an error, it's a biblical error. Now, if I'm wrong, correct me please. Show me the scriptures and the word of God that validate the concept of spiritual spouses. But I am going to go out on a limb and say that I believe that this idea of a spiritual spouse is a biblical error. And from the position as someone who has suffered and endured adverse childhood experiences, and you know May last month was a celebration or making people aware of adverse childhood experiences. So, in my understanding and study of adverse childhood experiences and childhood post-traumatic stress disorder, I have come to understand that there is something called limerence. Limerence. Limerence is the longing or the desire for someone, a specific person that you, you crush, you have a crush for this person. And it's an involuntary feeling that you develop for this individual, probably based on desires that you have or personality traits that they possess, that you admire. But limerence is this longing, this unrequited love that you are having for your crush. There are three stages to limerence. In that first stage, you're just, and I took some notes because I'm not a psychologist, psychiatrist. I'm an educator and an educational researcher. So I took some notes just to keep me on track, okay? So there are three stages in limerence. The first stage is infatuation. So infatuation is, of course, when you're falling, like this person is, has gotten your attention and your mind is filled with this person, your thoughts are on them 24 seven, you're contemplating what they're doing or how they are, and you're really desiring to know them better and to spend more time with them. And then you move into the second phase of limerence, which is the crystallization phase. Now in the crystallization phase, you begin to idealize this person you begin to see them pretty much on a pedestal, that they are perfect, that there is no wrong in them, that they're the perfect person for you, okay? And the third stage is deterioration, deteri deterioration. When you finally come to the realization that this relationship is not going to manifest, it's not going to come to fruition, it will not happen and you feel a, a great sense of disappointment during the deterioration phase. This is why I am encouraging those of you who are Christian men and women, who are looking at or longing for the spiritual spouse, I am encouraging you to do a deep dive, a sincere, objective, biblical study on what this idea, where did this idea of spiritual spouse even come from? Is it even a Christian phenomenon? Is it even a biblically based idea? Or is it from somewhere else? Okay, so I believe that limerence and spiritual spouse, the longing for a spiritual spouse, are the same thing. And so, what do you do about it? You accept the fact that
as a person from a wounded background or who has experienced adverse childhood trauma, who has experienced childhood post-traumatic stress disorder, who has experienced dysfunctional family frameworks, dysfunctional irregular relationships, and the uh, poor modeling of good, strong, healthy relationships, I am going to encourage you to look for healthy, sound ways to form relationships with the type of person that you desire to be in a relationship with. That may include reading, joining communities of healthy-minded people, getting counseling, going deep diving into the Word of God, and centering your desires upon what the Word of God says. All right, I'm Lynn Daniel, Dr. Lynn Daniel, here on YouTube, and you can find me on LinkedIn as well as Twitter and Instagram. Be blessed.